Welcome to Sentinel Channel. Thank you for your support to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to bless the brothers and sisters. Enjoy watching. God loves you. Be richly blessed. Hello Mr. CEO. Hello. Mr. Richard. How are you? I'm doing very well Mr. CEO. Please Mr. CEO, you asked me to come see you this morning urgently. Yes Mr. Richard. I really need you. This is very urgent. Let's sit down. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Richard, I would like you to find me a 50 hectare plot of land, in a very good location, for a large project that I would like to set up. I will give you at most one month to find me this land. It is very urgent. That's why I called you. Okay, Mr. CEO, I understand. I'll do my best to find it for you as soon as possible. Thank you very much. I knew I could count on you. As for the money, don't worry. Whatever the amount, I will pay. I understand Mr. CEO. I will get back to you very soon. I think I'll leave you to start my research. Goodbye Mr. CEO. Goodbye Richard, thank you very much. Come and get $5,000 for your travels. Okay, thank you, Mr. CEO. Good evening Richard, how are you? Good evening Gilles, I'm doing very well. And you? I'm doing very well too. I'm not complaining. How's business going on your side? Business on my side is fine. That's exactly why I asked you to meet me here. Oh, is there something wrong? No, brother, there's no problem. Everything's fine. It was CEO Anatole who called me this morning to ask me to find him a 50 hectare plot of land in a good location within a month at the latest, because he has a big project that he would like to implement. He told me that it is very urgent. I called you to tell you, so that you can let me know if you find something like that at your level. Don't worry about the money. He said he will pay for the land no matter what the amount is. Okay I get it wow, that'll be a great deal. I'll look around. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay I get it. I think I'll leave you. We'll keep in touch. Goodbye Gilles. Goodbye Richard. Hello my darling, how are you? Did you sleep well? Hello my love. I'm fine. I slept well. I give all the glory to God. And you, my love, how are you? My darling, I give all my gratitude to God because I slept so well. Except that I am a little tired because we had a very hectic week at work. Fortunately, Today is Saturday. You will be able to rest. No, my dear. I have to go out. After prayer and breakfast, I would like to go and visit the family's land. It's been over two months since I've been there. You know I'm the oldest and I have to take care of dad's things. Honey, since you feel so tired today, just give up and rest. You'll go next week. No, my dear. I'll go this morning. I've put it off several times. Today I'm going to go. You know, land matters are a big deal these days. If you're not careful, until you realize it, there will be other occupants. You're right, honey. After prayer, I'll go prepare your breakfast while you get ready. Okay, thank you, honey. Wow Gilles, this land is very beautiful. It has a very good location. I think the CEO will like this one. In any case. I will take him to the three sites we found so that he can make his choice. I also really like this one, but the choice is up to Mr. Anatole alone. When will you go see him? I will call him tonight. If he's available, I'll go see him tomorrow morning. Okay, I get it. We'll find the owner when he's made his choice. Yes, that's right, you're right. After the choice, we will contact the owner. What are these two gentlemen doing on the field? I've been watching them for over 30 minutes. What does that mean? I'll approach them and ask them what they want. Hello sir, do you want someone? You've been here for several minutes. Hello sir, we don't want anyone, we're just looking at the land and its location. Are you the owner? No, I'm not. Do you know the owner? Why are you asking all these questions? Is there a problem? No sir, there is no problem. It's to contact him in case we want to buy the land. 
Oh well, I'm not sure if the owner would like to sell the land. Because it's family land. Okay I get it. Thank you sir and goodbye. You're welcome. Goodbye sir. Please sir, I would like to ask you a question. Oh, go ahead, I'm listening. Are you a member of the owner's family? Can you help us meet the owner, if we decide to buy the land? Excuse me sir, I'm unable to connect you to the owner. On that note, sir, I apologize. I have to go, because I have things to do. Thank you. Okay sir, thank you for everything and goodbye. Please. Goodbye, sir. Who are these gentlemen, really? Did they come of their own accord or were they sent? Who sent them? Do they want to buy the land themselves or were they sent by a big shot? That's what I was saying to Anne this morning. Lord, I entrust you with this story that I find very suspicious. There are people who think they are above everyone else, because they are rich and have connections in this country. God, I put everything in your hands. Honey, you're back. How's my stepdad's yard? Honey, I'm back. Your stepdad's yard is doing great. And, you know that you like to joke a lot. That's what characterizes your beauty. You always bring joy wherever you are, despite all the circumstances. You are truly blessed. I love you my darling. I love you too my heart. My dear, you can't imagine what I saw when I was on the field today. No no dear, what did you see? I saw two men on the field. From a distance, I observed them for 30 minutes and I approached them to ask them if they wanted to see someone. They told me they were looking at the land and its location. They asked me if I was the owner. I told them no, I am not. They asked me who the owner was and if they could meet him through me. I asked them why they were asking me all these questions. They told me it was so they could contact him in case they wanted to buy the land. Oh really? And what did you tell them? I told them that I am not sure that this old dad will want to sell his land, because it is family land. I wonder if they were sent by someone or they themselves want to buy this land. We have to start putting this in prayer, because some people because of their wealth, their social status and their connections seek to threaten, intimidate and dominate people. They go to any lengths to snatch away those who do not belong to them. Mark my dear, what you say is the truth. The world is so wicked and corrupt. We have no money. We have no relations in this country, but we have God, the one who is above all things and makes perfect justice for his children, for all those who wait on him. Our God and our dad is not corrupt. He is so upright and just, he never takes bribes. Are you sure it's not them who want to buy the land? My dear, I can't tell you. At first glance, I'm not sure it's them, but you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. You're absolutely right. Anyway, what we have to do is pray. Thank you my dear. You are an extraordinary woman. You have always been a great support to me. I love you Anne. You two have always been an exemplary leader and an extraordinary husband full of attention. I love you Mark. Hello Mr. CEO. Hello Mr. Richard. How are you? I'm doing very well, sir. As expected, I came to tell you that I found three plots of land. I haven't tried to find out the owners yet. I'm waiting for you to visit them and make your choice first. It is in this capacity that I could seek to meet the owner. Wow, that's great. You did a very good job. I knew I could count on you. Today I am very busy. I will let you know during the week so that we can go and visit the place. Thank you very much. I am very happy with your work. Take $1,000 to cool off in the meantime. Thank you Mr. CEO, I think I'll leave you goodbye Mr. CEO. Goodbye Mr. Richard and thanks again. Wow, this is a great field. Its location is great. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I'll take this one. The other two courses didn't interest me at all. This one is very fantastic. Mr. Richard. You did a very good job. My congratulations. Thank you Mr. CEO. Now you will investigate to find the owner. You will find me all the information concerning him, so that I can meet him to discuss. Don't worry about your money. 
I will get the land valuation. When you bring me the information, I will pay you. Okay Mr. CEO, I understand. I will do the investigations to bring you the necessary information. You bring me his full address. I understand, sir. $5,000 to get help. You have to give people money to get information. Goodbye Mr. Richard. Goodbye Mr. CEO. Thank you very much for the money. This will help me find the owner quickly. Hello, honey, how are you? How is your day going? My dear, today is going very well. I am very happy this morning. I have very good news for you. What were you doing when I called you? I was sleeping when you called me. I ate well, drank some wine and went to bed. You told me not to work, right? Yes, my teddy bear. I told you not to work. As the mistress of the richest CEO, you have to stay home to be pampered. Wow, thank you my love. You are a treasure. Why did you call me to get dressed right away so the driver will come and pick me up? I have a very big surprise for you. I'm going to take you somewhere. Okay honey, I got it. We'll also go to the jewelry store so I can buy the jewelry, necklaces and bracelets I showed you yesterday. No problem honey. Your wish is my command. You told me how much it was. The whole thing is $80,000. That's no problem, sweetie. That's great, sweetie. You're so cute, I love you. Let's go Marlene. Okay my love. Wow honey, where is this? My darling, how do you like this place? My love, it's very, very, beautiful. It's fantastic. It's a paradise, an El Dorado. My dear, this is the land I promised you. This is where we will build our paradise. It would be wonderful. Marlene, you and I are together for life. I love you. You make me live with happiness. You are only 23 and I am 63, but you make me live a great happiness. I love you too. You make me live a great happiness. Anatole, you and I are together for life. I will give you the most beautiful children, real children. I am very happy. Really, what am I going to do? It's been more than two months since Anatole came to see us, me and the children. He doesn't care about his children anymore. We don't mean anything to him at all anymore. He just sends us money and that's it. When he comes home, it's to pick up some things and leave. He's gone to move into one of his houses with his mistress, a young girl who isn't even as old as his first son. After 28 years of marriage, this is what he does to thank me. He started this relationship almost three years ago. I can't take it anymore, my heart is really broken. I can't sleep anymore. What am I going to do? Mom, you're not asleep yet. What are you doing alone in the living room? You're crying. Are you okay? What's going on? No, honey, I'm not crying. Everything's okay. Mom, why are you hiding your pain and suffering? We're not children anymore. We know everything that is happening. We are suffering like you too. Dad never traveled like you make us believe every time we ask about him. He is with his mistress Marlene, a 23-year-old girl. I heard you crying, Mom. Be brave and strong, it will be okay. Me and my brothers are here for you. Thank you my dear. I am so overwhelmed that I don't know what to say to you. I can only say thank you. Mom, I know it's not easy, but you have to be strong for us. You have to be healthy for us. Know that if something happens to you today, it is we, your children, who will be the losers. Mom, Aunt Deborah has always spoken to you about Jesus, why don't you want to give him your life as she advises you? Look at how radiant she is every day, despite the difficulties she sometimes goes through in her life. Remember everything they went through when her husband was unemployed. Mom, think seriously about this. I love you mom. Thank you my dear for your advice. I will take into account everything you told me tonight. I love you Laura my darling daughter. You are a great treasure to me. I am proud of you. Your words really relieve me, my dear. Thank you so much. Let's go to bed, it's getting late. Okay mom, 
Have a good night, Mom. I love you. Thank you, my daughter. Good night to you, too. I love you very much, my darling. Thank you, my dear mother. Good morning, Mr. CEO. Hello, Mr. Richard. How are you? You were able to find the information about the owner as I asked you. Mr. CEO, I am very well. I found the information you need. His name is Mr. Mark and he works as an employee at the MBA company. The land belongs to his father, but now the father is deceased. The MBA company is my company. Precisely, it is the company of my best friend and brother. We are part of the same association. Thank you very much, Richard. I'll give you your envelope. You have $50,000. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Please, sir, I didn't do the work alone. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the land right now. We work as a team. The others will think I robbed them. Normally, we take 10% depending on the price of the land. Mr. Richard, I haven't even bought the land yet. I don't know if this Mr. Mark will agree to sell me the land. What do we do? Please, Mr. CEO, understand me. The land is estimated at $5 million. But don't expect me, Anto, to give you $500,000. Get that out of your head. I'll add $50,000. That'll make $100,000. Nothing more. Take it or leave it, Mr. Richard. Anyway, I already have what I want. You're the loser. Sir, I have work to do. I have better things to do. You, a poor starving man, find $100,000. Instead of thanking me, you put on a show. Tell me, have you ever counted $100,000 in your life? Take the money and disappear from my sight. Get out of my office. Thank you, Mr. CEO. Goodbye. Look at this poor wretch, a beggar like that. Get out of my sight, whatever. Richard, what's going on? Why do you look so dejected? You sounded tormented on the phone. There's a problem. It is CEO Anato. What happened to him? As you know, I brought him the information about the land. He told me last time that he will see the land appraisal to pay us today. The land appraisal is $5 million. Normally he was supposed to pay us $500,000, but he only gave me $50,000. I explained to him that I was not alone and that the others will think that I cheated them, but he did not want to understand. He only added $50,000 to make $100,000. He told me that it is take it or leave it. That he has nothing to lose, that I am the loser. He called me poor, hungry and he fired me from his office. He even asked me if I had ever counted $100,000 in my life. Richard my brother, I know you. I know you can't cheat me. Stop worrying and tormenting yourself. This Mr. Anatole, I know him. He is a fake guy, a crook. He is so proud, haughty and unjust. Because he is rich and has many connections, he thinks he can do anything. He is a thief. He tramples on the poor and makes fun of them. He has a very bad testimony. He is a hypocrite, a mean-spirited man. We will split the $100,000. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much for your understanding. This gentleman really upset me this morning. I will never work with him again. He shows the opposite of what he is. He is too mean, I met him at Mr. Jacques. The latter is very nice. Let's go to the bank to get the money. We'll transfer it to your account. Okay, no problem. Let's go, brother. Thank you very much, Richard. It's thanks to you that I won this sum. You don't have to thank me. We've always worked as a team. Good evening, Mr. CEO. Good evening, Mr. Mark. How are you? Sir, I am fine. I give glory to God, thank you and you. I am also fine, thank you. What can I offer you? Sir, I will not take anything, thank you. You asked to see me. What can I do for you? Mr. Mark, I wanted to meet you regarding your land which is located in the Bougainvilliers district. I am very interested and would like to buy it. Mr. CEO, as far as I know, there is no mention on the land that it is for sale. Mr. Mark, I like this land very much and I would like to buy it no matter what price you are going to give me. Mr. CEO, this land is not for sale. It is family land. I am sorry, I can't do anything for you. Mr. Mark, 
please do something, because I need this land in two weeks at the latest. I have a very big project that I have to carry out, and I need this land at all costs. I am ready to buy it at any price. You are the big brother of the family, you can sell it without any inconvenience. Mr. CEO, I understand your disappointment, but it is totally impossible for me to sell this land. I cannot disobey my dad's instructions. Mr. Mark, I understand you but I will not give up this land. I just give you three days to change your mind, otherwise I will go through all means to get this land. Have you ever heard of CEO Anatole? This country is our property, we always get what we want. I will have this land with or without your consent. Whether you like it or not, this land will become my property. On that note, Mr. Mark, I will leave you. Goodbye sir. It's always you poor people, people who have no value, no honor who make noise. Can a poor person have problems with a rich person and win the victory? Where will you be able to complain? What are you talking about Mr. Anatole? You forget that there's someone who is above all things, someone to whom no one can compare. He is all powerful, sovereign and supreme. When he stands up to fight, nothing stands in his way. He is the judge who can never be corrupted. Who are you talking about? The President of the Republic or the Prime Minister? They are all my friends. I eat and drink with them. We are together all the time. I am not talking to you about the President of the Republic or the Prime Minister, or anyone else, but I am talking to you about the Eternal Almighty God, the Creator of Heaven and Earth. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Here is another one, God, it's on him that you rely. It's in him that you put your trust. Look at this beast. Sir, I tell you that these are empty words, useless words. It takes money, connections to win this battle. Who do you trust to refuse to sell me the land, to stand up to me, to fight against me? You are just a poor, pathetic company employee. Nobody knows you. You barely manage to eat and feed your family. Oh yes. I forgot, you just spoke to me about God. It is in the eternal God that you trust. Is it not he that the poor and the needy adore? Is it not he who sells you illusions, dreams? I advise you now to make an alliance with me, to have peace otherwise who will deliver you from the hand of PDG Anatole? Who will give you victory against me? May your God of whom you speak so much, not deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you from my hands. I'll make a mouthful of you. Mr. Anatole, you're done. Will you hand me the land or not? Goodbye, sir. I wish you a good evening. Goodbye Mark and see you in three days, no more. Eternal God, Almighty, I would like to thank you for this day. You have protected me and my family, delivered us from the snares of the enemy and filled us with the best blessings. Receive my gratitude for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Dad, before I went to meet CEO Anatole, I told you and I put everything in your hands. Eternal Almighty God my dad, I have come before your throne of grace to give you the report. Dad, I am so overwhelmed that I don't know where to start. Father, he asked me to sell him the land and I told him that it is impossible because it is a family land. Despite all his pressure and insistence, I remained firm and adamant. He started threatening me and calling me a poor wretch. He told me he's giving me three days to change my mind or he'll take the land whether I like it or not. Dad, you've heard everything he said about you. He called you helpless, incapable, a liar, saying you can't deliver me from his hands, that you're selling me illusions, dreams, and that you're abusing me. This gentleman relies on his wealth and connections, I rely only on you. Eternal God of all power, you who are sovereign, supreme and majestic, you who sit above the heavens and observe all that men do on earth, you who no one can resist, who never put ashamed or confounded those who put all their trust in you. Incline your ear to me and hear the cries of my supplications and my distress. Deliver me from the hand of this CEO and all those who will be with him. Lord my God, you are the one who fought for David before Goliath. You are the one who delivered David from the hands of Saul. You are the same one who delivered the people of Israel from the hands of Pharaoh. Lord God, you are the same today, yesterday and forever. Come to our aid. Save us from the hands of this gentleman. All our trust is in you. You told me in Isaiah 49 verse 25, Indeed, this is what the Lord says, Even the captives of the mighty will be taken away, and the plunder of the tyrant will be retrieved. I will contend with those who contend with you, and I will save your children. Dad, 
you always honor your word, and I know you will not forsake me. Thank you for listening and answering me in Jesus' name, Amen. I will check my cell phone, to see if I have a missed call. Wow 30 missed calls, my sweetheart called me several times. She must be very worried. I'll hurry home. I was supposed to warn her before coming to the park, but the situation has really upset me that I forgot. I'm going to call her to reassure her before I go back, otherwise she'll get sick. I know my wife well. Where she is right now, she is not at all in her element. My darling, the woman of my life, my crown, I saw your missed calls. Don't panic, I'm fine. I'm on my way home. When I get there, I'll explain everything to you. Honey, I'm so glad you called. I was so scared because it's not your usual thing. What happened? Are you sure you're okay? You're not saying that to calm me down. Honey, nothing happened. If I tell you I'm fine, it's because I'm fine. Stop stressing. I just called to reassure you. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm at the park. See you later, honey. I love you. See you later, honey. I love you. Okay, I get it. I'm so relieved by your call. See you later. I love you too. My dear, how are you? You had a great day. I had a nice day by the grace of God except that you upset me a little. I was very worried about you because it is not your usual. And you, how was your day? You are well. You were able to meet this Mr. Anatel. What did he want because I find you very pale? My dear, I had a pleasant day. I'm fine, I give all the glory to God. I met this CEO. When I left him, I went to the park to pray. I needed to talk to God so bad, because this man made me so upset with everything he said, so I forgot to tell you I was going to the park. Honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I was just worried about you. Because I love you. I was relieved when you called to tell me that you were okay. Since you also had an appointment with this gentleman, I was wondering what was wrong. I give glory to God for bringing you back safe and sound. The CEO met me because of the land. He asks me to sell it to him at any price, because he has a big project that he has to complete in two weeks. Oh, so he's the one who sent those two gentlemen you met on the land. What did you tell him? I told him I'm sorry I couldn't satisfy him. I can't sell him the land, because it's family land. You answered well. You can't sell this land, because Dad has strictly forbidden you to do so, and you're not the only beneficiary. There are ten of you. I know that, my dear. I won't do it. Everyone will get their share. The CEO insisted so much, when he saw that it wouldn't be possible, he started threatening me. He gave me three days notice. If I don't change my mind, he'll take it by force. He called me a poor wretch. That I can't do anything against him, because he is rich and he has many connections. He eats and drinks with the great personalities of this country, such as the President of the Republic, the Prime Minister. He told me that the country is their property and they get everything they want. Oh really, this man is proud and mean. People think they can do anything and forget that the earth was created by God and their breath of life belongs to God. Honey, he has the money and connections, we have the eternal almighty God, the one who is above all things, who reigns over all things and who has control of all things. My crown, you know what he said to me when I told him that? No, honey. He said to me, it is in the eternal God that you trust. Is it not he whom the poor and the destitute worship? Is it not he who sells you dreams and illusions? May your God not deceive you, for he cannot deliver you from my hands. May he make a mouthful of me. He has even mocked God. This is not possible. Who is this man? He even has the audacity to mock God. May God forgive his sins. Darling, let us not be afraid of this gentleman. Let us put all our trust in the Eternal, our refuge and our deliverance. He will defend our cause, he will act in our favor. The Bible states in Isaiah 51 verses 12-15, I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who is mortal, and of the son of man who is like grass? And you forget the Lord your Maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. And you tremble continually all day long at the wrath of the enemy, because he seeks to destroy. 
where is the wrath of the oppressor? Soon he who is bowed down under irons will be delivered. He will not die in the pit, nor will his bread fail him. I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea and makes its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. Darling, let us be strong and courageous. God is in control of everything. Thank you my dear for your support. I love you so much. I love you too my love. Dear brothers and sisters, part 2 of this video series is coming. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to bless others. Be richly blessed. Enjoy watching. See you for the second part. Stay connected.